Hi, I'm John Mason, I'm the site manager at Stanlow. This is the first major turnaround we've done as SR, two years into the SR world. I just see this as a real watershed moment for us. We've had this ahead of us for so long and it's such a massive uh, challenge. Now we're getting through it and after the turnaround we'll be able to focus so much more on driving this site forward. Uh, for me this is a very sort of special uh, turnaround. I've been involved in the Cat Cracker uh, pretty well all of my career. I spent five years down there as maintenance manager and to see the regen being relifed in this way, uh, the sort of massive lifts we've seen and uh, seeing all those new cyclists going in, which basically means that this crack is good for another 25 years. Uh, we put a lot of time into making sure we attend every safety induction uh, for the turnaround and I'll repeat what I say there to all our contractors and visitors, everybody involved in delivering this turnaround. Delivering this turnaround safely really is our number one priority. My name is Richard Tiplady, I'm a turnaround engineer for the FCC Regen project. And my role for the last nearly three years of this project has been to assess the constructability, work out how to make the turnaround safer and minimise the risk in the project. A lot of the things we've done involve uh, maximising the pre-turnaround pipework construction, that minimises man hours on the turnaround. Uh, we've looked at the construction methods for the cutting the head, uh, the welding of the head, just to re reduce risk in the turnaround, that's been the main, main driver for us in my role. My name is Mick Bega. I work for a company called Mammut. Uh, we're a global leader in uh, heavy lifting and transport. We've been on site for six months now, uh, doing the six major lifts for the 2013 turnaround for SR. Uh, 
As of now, the job's gone really well, it's gone safely. Hi, I'm Dave Salmon from the Rotating Equipment Group. Uh, in 2013 turnaround, we've been involved in major overhaul work on the PRT train. We've been working on the uh, hot gas expander, K2150. We've installed a refurbished rotor into the machine. We've fitted uh, new bearings and new seals, labyrinth seals, into the machine. Moving along the train, on K2151, which is the main air blower, we've fitted a spare rotor. Again, we've uh, installed new blading into this machine. Uh, part of that was a project upgrade to improve the throughput of the uh, blower. The next machine in the train, K2152, is the PRT turbine. The PRT turbine, again, has had 15 years of service. In that machine, we've put a, a refurbished rotor in, we've put new static blade sets in and new bearings, seals. On the uh, PRT generator we've taken the main cover off. Inside that main cover are four coolers. We've replaced those four coolers. We had one leak just in service just prior to the shutdown starting and uh, on the exciter on the end of that generator we've also replaced two coolers in that. Transport air blower in 2013. We've uh, taken the motor off, sent that away for a full overhaul. The machine itself, the compressor, we've had a rotor change, so we've changed the rotor for the spare rotor, and we've in changed some internals, check bearing clearances, internal critical dimensions, and rebuilt. Hello, I'm Mike Mackay. 
I'm the uh, OMC production unit manager and it's a privilege to be the manager of the cat cracking plant uh, during the turnaround where we're doing so much relifing scope which is key for Stanlow's future uh, and a really exciting time. I have to say the uh, Cracker Regen head replacement which is probably the, uh, the showpiece of the relifing work that's going on. What a thrilling morning was spent watching that uh, go in so successfully. Uh, which obviously has come about due to a lot of hard work from a great project team that's put an awful lot of time and effort into making sure this goes right. So it's now critical that we finish the project, we finish it safely, uh, we deliver Gold Zero, and then we move into starting the unit up flawlessly, right first time, and then operating the unit successfully, reliably for the next four years. And hopefully the regen head will last another 25 years like the last one did.